class taught to separate actively To mention your class, this life we all learn like academy I'm trying to shine in the darkness I had to find where my heart is What is going on, Kingdom? I am back, and today I am back with another video. Now I'm not going to try and be too too loud because it seems that the way that um it, it seems that the walls are a little bit echoey. So I'm just going to be speaking today, speaking directly to you, speaking directly to you, and bringing out this message today, and not really going to be yelling too much at you. I don't, I don't really do that anyways. But anyways, today we're going to be back on the series of the Movement of Unity. Now, if you are listening on the podcast, you may not know what this series is, but Movement of Unity is just me talking about or if you're new movement of unity is me talking about how we as people can unite in the body of christ and manage to work together to make great things happen basically as simple as that you know it's been a little bit i kind of do this series to be honest monthly and i need to start trying to get more series oriented but that's besides the point i've been touching on a bunch of different topics when it comes to this tan with this channel and i love doing that anyway so today i'm going to be talking about the importance of giving and receiving help now this is quite in uh, interesting topic and sometimes i feel like an overlooked topic we know about this but we don't truly do this a lot of the time i guess if, as i speak on like a, a society standard right and i'm going to be talking about both the importance of giving help and probably the more complicated one for me is going to be receiving help now like in, well i mean it's difficult it can be difficult for all of us but i think it's just more of a complicated topic in general not just for me but i mean it's a complicated topic to talk about you know what i'm saying so the first one i'm going to get right into it so talking about giving right talking about um what's the importance of uh, of giving help so one thing that a lot of us may want to do and what our flesh wants to do when it comes to giving is to keep keep things i want this gimme gimme and there's nothing wrong with having things right of course we, you know somebody gives to us we have right but what i'm saying is you know when we just say gimme 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 i want to keep listen holding on to things is of the flesh holding on to things holding on to just holding on to things that we could and should be giving right that is of the flesh that is the flesh keeping us and the flesh is always only a temporary pleasure the flesh is always only something that'll feel good in the moment and feel bad in the next you know what i'm saying and so i just want to say that when we feel like we should hold on and feel well, we could have a whole bunch of things that we got you know what i'm saying we could have all of the best technology the best things the best whatever but if we end up holding on to all of it so much to the point we would never be willing to give or let it go you know you could have all of that stuff that feels so great to have but really within your spirit you could feel so so empty because of how much is being worked through the flesh which is of a temporary pleasure but a long-term emptiness a long-term feeling of feeling regret a long-term feeling of feeling just shameful and then it's like okay you know, you end up going back to running towards that temporary pleasure of having all of these things, feeling great about it for a moment when you, I guess, reap the benefits of them. But then at the end of the day, you end up feeling empty because you put all of your attachment towards the flesh of keeping all of these objects and never being willing to give out to others. That is why giving can really have a benefit spiritually to people you know what i'm saying can really have a benefit for those that are willing to be open to giving right giving is also a part of what is our legacy what we give whether we give words whether we give things help giving is a part of our legacy and that's long term so when we end up getting so caught up in the short term it's like we stain our legacy because we're unwilling to give to others what's been brought down to us thank god it's been given to us and we're not open to giving it to others and then it ends up being a piece where you know whatever you could have done for somebody within their spirit you could have gave somebody some knowledge gave somebody something that they really would have loved a game anything you could have given somebody whatever it was you could have given somebody that and it would have been like the change in how they felt because love was shown because giving was shown to them not just because of the object but the thought the thought that counts of the love the givingness of you the givingness of you it could be what really brings a piece of your legacy to another person and really makes them remember you at the end of the day and helps to create your remembrance where we are now you know what i'm saying because the legacy is probably one of the most important things we can ever put down in society and in this world right you know what i'm saying so that's what i want to say about giving there's so much more i could say but giving is very important giving help pretty much that's what giving help is right whether you give words knowledge like just helping with anything right but the also the importance of receiving the importance of receiving help right the importance of receiving things from others now one thing that i want to say is that i feel like 
where we battle when it comes to the flesh with this is feeling like we are so independent that we don't need help. Feeling like we're so independent. You know, I don't need the help from you. I don't need none of that. I got it on my own. I'm straight. I'm good. Listen, the first thing that I will say is that I, I personally believe, you know, when one is in need of advice, I guess you could say like a quote like this. And it's not to be judgmental. It's just to say it isn't like just a thought right i guess is that a fool will never listen to nobody because one thing i will say is that we don't gain anything without being open to what other people have to say or give we don't gain anything we're just locked into the same position we're still locked into the same spot where we still have the same mindset the same values the same like, like, like the same abilities the same like like everything and why be stuck with the same when we could grow and get better but the only way we can grow and get better is through what others can pass on to us of course life experiences as well you know what i'm saying so i'm not just gonna say that but one of the biggest ways that we can grow and get better in our knowledge is by walking through and learning from other people that went through different experiences you know what I'm saying? There's people that have experienced things that you would never know about, that you could learn something about. You know what I'm saying? Because then if we don't listen to nobody, we only learn what we see, and we never get to experience what another person has to offer in terms of their knowledge, in terms of even learning about what not to do. Somebody could tell you something, and it's like, okay, that's... I definitely, in my mind, and just overall, really feel like that was not a smart thing that they could have, that was not wise well then at least you understand what you believe is not wise and you understand what not to do you know what i'm saying because i could end up being put in a position where somebody said like you know oh man um Oh, oh man, this was a good decision to do. I went and went to the went to a party or something. Or I'm gonna go to party, and it's like even seeing what not to do, right? How a party can end up resulting in a person being drunk and jacked up, something like that. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, well, now I know what not to do, right? Just seeing results and seeing things, or just seeing people say things that end up being wrong in the end, or just understanding, you know, and having that planted in your mind. These are what I need to avoid because just like how we need to know, you know what's good in this world if we just know what's good and we never know what's evil the evil will come and then we'll like oh be like well open arms you know it's like different it's different perspectives whether not everything is evil but not everything is good out here in this world you know what i'm saying so if we end up looking at the evil and open <laughs> giving open arms we could end up getting stabbed in the back it comes to where it comes down to knowing and understanding what's not right what not to do and what to do and what's good and if you never look at the evil as well you never learn from other people through these perspectives and through these things you're never gonna grow you know what i'm saying you're never gonna truly grow in your knowledge and then your understandings of different parts and aspects of life there is so much to speak about when it comes to receiving help right being open to receive help you cannot get better if you can't be open to receive something that's outside of yourself because at this point whatever you just stick with that's within yourself that's you that's what you got that's just you that's just what you got right now that's stagnant but if we manage to hear others out and if we manage to be open to what others have to say then we can start to learn something and get better you know what i'm saying get better than just the person i am now i want to be better in the person that i am tomorrow you feel what i'm saying i want to be better in the person that i am tomorrow i want to be better in the person much better in the person i am the day after i want to learn things i want to see and hear things and it's difficult fighting with the flesh in those ways is very difficult but it's important because if we can manage to do that for ourselves yo we can manage to learn so much at the end of the day we can be packed with so much knowledge because we were so open to the knowledge that other people had to give you know what i'm saying but anyways that's all i have to say today like i said i don't want to speak too loud because i don't have much of like a good space to be speaking i guess it's kind of loud i don't know why it's kind of echoey right now but anyways that's all i really got to say um thank you so much for watching this is the movement of unity this is what others can do when it comes to giving to each other and when it comes to receiving from one another basically is what i was trying to get at with this message today so anyways thank you so much for watching i appreciate you thank you god bless you much love thank you and peace